Okay, so today I have a haul to share with you guys. I did a little bit of damage at Sephora and Ulta. I actually ended up placing um, an order because I needed a couple things. And then the next day, both of them sent me emails with the discount codes for 10 and 20% off. So I ended up ordering some more stuff um, because, I mean, with a coupon like that, you have to use it. Anyways, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. I guess first we'll talk about the Sephora things. Um, I was out of a lot of stuff, so a lot of this is repurchases. Not a lot, but a good portion of it. And a lot of it is things that I haven't tried before, so I'm really excited about that. Um, first I have, this is like the two-pack of Beauty Blenders, and then it comes with this blender cleanser, which I've never tried the liquid one. I always get the solid one, um, but I figured it was pretty much like free when you get the the beauty blender so I went ahead and ordered that because my beauty blender like is it needs to be replaced it's really gross and then I um I ordered the solid cleanser as well because I figured you could never have enough of those and then this is also a repurchase as well so I'll just quickly um show you it is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara love this stuff obsessed I've gone through like 10 of them um, and the one I have right now, um, it actually is still working really well, but I can tell it's getting a little bit drier, so I went ahead and ordered that. I ordered a few new lip things, so I guess we'll just, um, talk about those. The first is the Tarte Lip Facial. I've heard people say really good things about this, and it was about, like, a week ago, my lips were so dry, and it just seemed like even if I put chapstick on like nothing was helping them so I figured I needed a lip scrub to kind of like get off the layer of dead skin on the top so I went ahead and ordered this one and what I like about this is that it's like in a pencil form it's not like in a pot where you have to like dig your fingers into it so I'm pretty interested to see how well this works and then I ordered another Dior lip maximizer in the I think it's just called pink it's 001 yeah pink and I thought this color was really pretty for spring it's just like a baby pink just light pastel -y kind of color it pretty much goes on clear I tried it on um so yeah I already love this product I have it in the I don't know what other I always get confused on what color I have but um I just want another color for spring. And then, this is brand new. This is from Glam Glow. At least I think it's brand new. I saw it on the Sephora website. Um, it's called Plump Rageous Gloss Lip Plumper Treatment. And I opened this up because I was really interested in it. And the packaging is so strange. Like, you think you just twist it off and apply it like a regular lip gloss, but instead, you like twist it and then this pops up and this pulls out and the applicator is really weird you can't really see it very well but it's just like a plastic spatula like there's no sponge or anything to it um this I, I tried on the, I liked the product um, but the color was kind of just like really nude um, so once I shared out it was okay but I did go ahead and order another color of this and it comes in a matte so I was really interested to see like how a plumper was supposed to be matte so I went ahead and ordered the matte one too but um yeah I'm really interested to see how this product works like it just seems kind of strange to me so there's that and then this is also another brand new item I got an e I think I got an email about this from Sephora being like oh brand new whatever um it's the it's from Benefit it's the Dandelion Twinkle it's a highlighter, and I love the Dandelion Blush, um, so I figured I'd love this as well. Pretty much all of Benefit's boxed powders I feel like you can't go wrong with, so yeah, and I swatched this, and it is just like... Mm -hmm. Can you see? Like, just frosty... I don't know it looks really pretty so I'm really excited to wear this in the spring okay this is another item from benefit it's the give me not give me give me brow and I've been really I've been wearing pretty light makeup recently like especially if I'm not leaving the house 
most days I only leave the house to go to the gym um and I didn't I don't want to like fill in my brows to go to the gym so I wanted like a tinted brow what's it called tinted a tinted brow gel so I can just quickly um you know brush them out and then they're, they're like done but this is so small like I thought it was going to be the same size as like any other normal brow gel but it's like so tiny so that's kind of disappointing but um hopefully it works for what I wanted it to work for and then I ordered the Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist I have most of the other Locket products like in that line and I love them a lot so I'm really interested to see how this works um it's just supposed to be like a makeup extending spray it doesn't do anything like special but um I wanted to try that and then this product like so far I'm like not sure about it's the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette which I was really excited to order but when I got it like, it's really tiny. <laughs> like, it's pretty small. And even the shadows inside are, like, they're pretty small compared to... I thought it was going to be... Well, I guess it is. But my imagination was, like, it was just going to be, like, half of the regular chocolate bar. And it kind of is, but it's not as, like thick and sturdy and the packaging just feels a lot cheaper so I mean it was like half the price but I don't know but the colors in here are really pretty so I'm going to give it a try I was already kind of swatching some of them and this silver color I don't know what it's called but um it looks really pretty so I'm excited to play around with this I think it'll be a good travel palette because like they're pretty neutral everyday colors so we'll see Okay, and then I just have a couple of samples in here. Um, Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick and Amulet. This is um, Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb Perfume Sample. This is the Sugar Nude Tinted Lip Treatment. So I have the, um, just like the clear chapstick from them. Um, but I'm interested to see like how this... The color looks pretty, so... We'll see how that works. And then this is the Tory Burch um, Jolie Fleur Blue perfume sample. And then um, I have a sample of the Bare Minerals, just their original mineral foundation, which I have a full size of, but I figured whatever else get. Because it's like a really big kind of sample, so I figured I would grab that. And then that's everything from Sephora. And now on uh, to Ulta. This is where I have like more repurchases and whatnot. So I had to repurchase the Philosophy Purity Facial Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. I use it every day. I was like out with the past couple days and I was using something else and it was bad. Um, and then I got two of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Concealers in the fair color. I got two of them um, because I feel like I'm constantly running out of these and they're the best so. And then okay I kind of have like a lot of like Redken stuff but I was out of shampoo and conditioner so I went ahead and repurchased the Redken Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner and then oh geez. On the site, I saw that they had this, um, which you get the Extreme Mega Mask, and then you get just little travel sizes of the shampoo and conditioner with it, and I've been wanting to try a new, like, deep conditioner, so I figured a hair mask would be perfect. I'm pretty sure it's one that you just, like, rinse out in the shower, so yeah, I don't know what the difference between a deep conditioner and a hair mask is, but yeah, anyways, I thought I'd give this a go because I know I like this line. And then last weekend, I went home to visit, and my sister had this, 
It's the Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment. I tried it on the ends of my hair and they felt like really strong and thick and healthy. So I went ahead and ordered it because I know I need to get a haircut so my ends are kind of like a little rough looking right now but this like really helped make a difference so okay this is brand new from Lorac. I think I saw this on Instagram or something and I was like I need that it is called the California Dreamin Palette the only thing like I'm not crazy about is the packaging like it has some like super random if it'll focus there's like some super random things on here that I'm like okay whatever um, but the colors look really pretty. This one called Kitty Cat is like, oh my gosh, it's like a purpley bronze, but it has gold shimmer in it. It like, it, oh, it just looks so pretty. And then just like all of them, the Sandcastle one is going to be like the perfect white, like the quality of Lorac shadows is amazing and this palette was $30 so yeah I needed this in my life even though I feel like I've gotten a ton of new palettes lately like it's kind of crazy but <laughs> I like eyeshadow what can I say and then what else did I get this is oh I had to repurchase my Brow Wiz eye pencil because I was all out and I was going back and forth between a couple but like this one is just it's so good like how can I not get it anyway so I got that and then this is also from Anastasia but I'm not sure about I'm not sure about this it's brand new it's their stick foundation and um I wasn't sure about the color so I just kind of like picked one. Normally I just get really lucky when picking colors online that I think will match me. Um, this is the color Warm Neutral and it is really warm like it's almost like yellowy looking if you can even see that. Where is it? I don't know. On camera though it looks like it's not really showing up. But anyways um Maybe it does match me kind of okay. But I think it's a little dark for me. I think it's a little yellow. So I'm going to wait until I have a little bit of a tan. Which I feel like won't be for a long time though. So I don't know. Um, maybe I'll give it a try even though it won't match me perfect. And just see how it goes. But um, the stick foundations have been really popular lately. I see them all over Instagram. So I was like I'll just give one a try. And it was fairly like cheap. Compared to most stick foundations I've seen, it was only $25 compared to like normally they're 40 I think. So I figured I would just give it a try. And then this is a sample. I think I got it for free because I ordered the Philosophy Purity Face Wash. But it's the Uplifting Miracle Eye Worker. It's just an eye cream from Philosophy. So that is everything. A lot of repurchases. A little bit more than I thought it was going to be. But I think there's still some exciting stuff in here. The Standalion... Powder. I'm like really excited to use and the eyeshadow palettes everything really let me know in the comments below if you want to see a specific review or tutorial with any of the products that I showed today because I would love to do that um, I already have a couple videos in mind but let me know if there's anything specific you want and yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys very soon with another video bye